knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? When we say the coming of the Lord is imminent, we don't mean that he could come at any time. What we mean is, the Lord could come at any time as far as we're concerned. You see, there's a specific day that God has on his calendar. God knows the hour, but we don't know the hour. And so we live on the tiptoe of expectancy. I ought to always be ready, and you can tell how healthy a man's doctrine is by the way he lives. For the scripture says that he that hath this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. So if I'm living a careless life, a worldly life, with no thoughts of God, it doesn't matter what my doctrine is, I don't really believe in the soon return of Christ if I'm living like that. In the late 1800s, there was a terrible diphtheria epidemic that swept through Montreal. 10,000 children died. They couldn't build coffins fast enough. And my great-grandmother lost four children in one week. She never really recovered from it. Now, one of the children to die was little Mary. She was eight years old. And she used to come down and help her mother get the dinner ready. Very often, she would go to the kitchen window. She'd pull back the drapes, look out into the morning sun, and then turn to her mother and say, Do you think he'll come today, Mommy? Do you live in the conscious, certain, daily enjoyment that this could be it? Now, if that's how I live, then nothing down here will have much of an attraction for me. We are waiting for his son from heaven. That's what we're waiting for. We're not waiting for anything to happen down here. There's not a thing necessary to be fulfilled before the Lord Jesus returns. It could happen today. Our responsibility is to live this day in the light of that day. Now, Paul said, I only had two dates on my calendar, this day and that day. And I live this day in the light of that day, so that when I get to that day and look back at this day, I'll have nothing to be ashamed of. It's a happy way to live, isn't it? Not to live for the present, but to live in the present. Because, you see, a Christian is never crushed by the burden of the day. God has measured out your daily burden and your daily strength. You're never crushed by the burden of the day. The reason you're crushed is because you're adding yesterday's failures, yesterday's troubles, or tomorrow's worries to today. When you add these burdens to the daily burden, you can't bear it. But God hasn't asked you to do that. He's measured out the day for you, and he wants you to live this day in the light of that day, in the light of the glory of the Lord, and then every day becomes a special day. Every day becomes historic. It's the day that the Lord has made, the day the Lord has handed to us, and we live it for his glory and in light of that coming day.